Indiana, the home of the Pelicans, right here on 2K Sports. For the Pelicans, happy to be here in New Orleans right now in the midst of a homestand. On paper, you'd give them the edge, but of course they're not taking anything for granted. They'll look to come out strong and prove they're the better team. Well, you know, they've only played these guys once during the regular season, but they did beat them, so... Get up. You're going in. Here we go. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. This New Orleans team is, is now in their second season as the Pelicans. The name, which was subject to some critique early on, uh, has actually turned out to be nice for the franchise with a new group of players, new ownership, and it fits nicely into creating a new identity. And it's Gordon missing. Steve, they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass today. Yes, it is. And a moment happening right now, folks, and the fulfillment of a lifelong dream, a special individual taking to the hardwood as we'll get to watch the first official NBA appearance from Perry. Just an amazing story we have here, Clark. Here is someone who has had to scrap and fight every bit of the way, but now he's made it on his own to an NBA floor. You know, he got passed over by all 30 NBA teams during the draft, but he stuck with his dream, and now here he is. I mean, let's hope he can make the best of it. 153 left in the first quarter of the game. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Yes, Kevin, thank you. Monty Williams had some words for his team. He told the team... And that bucket right there, folks, is the first official NBA basket from Perry. Perry! Well, it has to feel reassuring to him right now. Long journey for him to make it to the NBA, and now here he is on the board. I think it'll be the first of what hopefully will be a lot of scoring in a very bright NBA career, Steve. Parked down low that time, and he got the three seconds. Goal. The moment now to take a look at some of the stats for Tyreek Evans. He's right around 13 points a night, six rebounds, and four assists. And he really can't find it. He's been very, very dependable, steady, um, doing pretty much everything they've asked of him. Here's Roten. Here's Covington, and uh, oh, here, there's a whistle. He was going up for a layup, and while it looked like there was some contact, I wasn't sure they were going to call a foul shot or not, but sure enough, they have. So he'll head to the free throw line. And we'll get a look at how the hustle stat game has been going for the Pelicans. Well, they're trying to play fast and trying to put the defense on their heels. They've gotten their fair share of points off turnovers so far tonight, too. The first one falls. You know, the Sixers have really undergone a complete reversal in recent years from a team with a very old school, traditional front office to a team that's now focused on the science and analytics of winning basketball. And quite honestly, guys, we're seeing more and more teams embrace the uh, analytics side of things. He doesn't get the second one. The Pelicans have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the opening tip. Perry passes to Anderson. The feed to Walters. Pass to Perry. Shot clock at 6. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And for the Sixers, their new stat-driven decision-making permeates the organization from ownership, Steve to the front office, all the way down to the coaching staff. Well, that's where the league seems to be going, Kevin. You know, teams are trying to think further ahead and see opportunities for strategic advantages. But look, it's still a balance. You've got to have chemistry and coaching, and those numbers will come in play. But they can't be the be-all, end-all. And slam dunk by Noel. Boy, that was right in his grill. He That's dealt with problem. pressure like it was nothing at all. Now he had a lot of momentum behind him on his way up. Here's Walters. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Here's Perry on target from 13 feet. Perry making Perry. an immediate impact. 11 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Now here's Roden. Four seconds left. 
No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Well, I think he had all the space he needed. He just couldn't find the bottom of the net. And at the end of one, both teams putting up some points. Pelicans on top, leading by just two. From New Orleans, back in a moment. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Yes, sir. On tap, Wednesday, January 28th. Ty Lawson and the Denver Nuggets go up against Anthony Davis and the New Orleans Pelicans. Live from New Orleans, be there. Well, it's been a tight one so far as we get the second quarter going back here. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from New Orleans? I was impressed with their transition game, guys. They really got out and ran the lanes. Yeah, they did. I mean, no better way to get easy buckets than through fast breaks. The 76ers trail. Here's Walters. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. He kicks to G. Beyond the arc. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Covington's got five rebounds tonight. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, Doris Brook. Doris, over to you. Guys, as you know, Michael Carter-Williams, last year's Rookie of the Year, and Coach Brett Brown said he's more than he's bargained for. More skill, tougher, prideful, and competitive. But Coach loves his playmaking as well, saying, quote, his size enables him to play with a different vision line. He understands how to run a team and find his teammates. Kevin? Not bad for the number 10 pick in the draft. Thanks, Doris. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the 76ers. Well, they've definitely had the hot hand from the three-point line so far. Always nice to start out like that. You know, we've seen them bearing their fair share of mid-range jumpers tonight, too. I mean, that's a good start for them. Hits them both. Michael Carter Williams with that rare height at the point guard spot. He's 6'6, long arms. And one thing you love about taller point guards is the ability to really survey the court and pass over the top of the defense. And you know why he was open there. They didn't commit too much defense to him, and you can see why. He has trouble making that shot. From deep, Covington with the bucket. Robert. And the 76ers lead by 10. Yeah, that's Hungry. like a layup for him. He's just wide open out there. Mark some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. To the wing on the left. Here's Perry. And again, New Orleans has no luck. Even though he missed it, he couldn't pass up that chance. Yeah, that's an easy jump shot. You got to take that one. And pushing it up. Here's New Orleans. Davis with it. Now guarded by Noel. Here's Perry. The three-pointer off the mark. And in the paint, they have really shown some strength. Their work on the boards has been phenomenal. Yeah, I'd certainly call it a mismatch, Steve, at least for today. 
Carter Williams kicks to Noel. Evans with the rebound. Evans has got three rebounds now in this one. Here's Perry. Bangs on the trifecta. She's going to back down to within single digits for the Pelicans. Philadelphia's gone three of five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. Four seconds separating the shot and game blocks. Carter Williams dishes to Grant. Kicks it to Covington. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. That's good. You know, that's a case there, Kevin, of him making a pass to a spot, and then he let his teammate run right into it. Well executed. Evans inside. Walters, no good. That's kind of a shocker. The defense was there, but he wasn't right in his face. Kind of out of character for him to miss those. And so we wrap up the first half. 76ers lead by nine. We'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. Hey guys, settle down for a second. I noticed a couple of things from that first half. Continue to have smart possessions. Let's keep the turnovers to a minimum. That was a big boost to our offense. And another thing guys, we're not shooting the ball with confidence. We can do better. Let's make some smart plays and try to get ourselves into a rhythm. That's it for now, guys. Let's go get that W. And now the third quarter about to get going. What a night so far for Gordon. Nine points and one rejection in this game, too. And it was a good one, too. Really one of the highlights, I thought, of the game defensively. 